What's going on, Dust Collectors? It is I, Nikolai Tedeschi, bringing you guys another video, and today we are reviewing an action figure, surprisingly. Haven't done this yet on my channel. Well, a Toy Story action figure, that is. And we are talking about the Revel Tech Jesse 1.5. At least I hope it's 1.5. I don't know, the boxes are pretty, oh yeah, there it is. Right there at the bottom. So let's actually get to it. So here we are guys with the Rebel Tech Jesse from Toy Story 2. This is the 1.5 version made by Kai Odo. Is that how you say the company name? I do not know how to speak Japanese. So bear with me on that guys. And I really only bought this Jesse action figure for one purpose and that is for her facial expressions because I may or may not have a new live action-y stop motion series set in this beautiful landscape that I am in right now starring Jesse and Woody so more details on that later on my channel guys I am still working on this script so it might not actually come out until 2025 summer of 25 but I don't want to give too many details but I needed this Jesse for those facial expressions. So here's the box. It also comes with a little alien. I'm probably not even going to use the alien to be honest. So that might be a future giveaway for one of you guys. But I actually got her on eBay for $90. I believe this one came out in 2024. I was looking at the box here and that's detailed on the box here. It's not printed on. It has a weird little texture there. You can see 2024. So I'm going on a whim and saying that this was released this year, but I do not know when the version one was released. So that may have been a 2022, 2023 release. But what makes this one different is that she comes with more facial expressions is what I am getting at. So here's the box. It seems that you can do lots of really, really cool poses with her. Let's get into it. We got our trusty little switchblade here. So how's everyone doing today? Haven't posted a video in a while. Been up in the woods here working at my job. So videos have not really been my main priority, but thought I would get this and do a little review unboxing for you guys. Even though you guys probably won't see this Jesse often in my videos. Whoa, what's hanging down right here? Is that a stand? She comes with a display stand? Okay. I did not expect that. That's actually really cool. This feels like I'm opening a Hot Toys figure right now. But here she is in the wow. Didn't think I would ever buy something like this, but here we are. And it's probably not a smart idea for me to open all these little small pieces, especially her hands here on this little table. But here we are. We're improvising as we go. That's what we do here on this channel. Here we go. She's just super tight in there. Oh, her hands. Oh, no, no. See how her hands just almost flew out of the box? Look, they're everywhere. Wow. Okay, let's slowly open this, Nick. Come on. Wow, look how small that hand is, guys. Let me get all the hands out right now and all the little pieces so when I lift her up here to take her out, these don't all fall into the cracks of the floorboards here. That would not be good. I do not want to crawl under the crawl space to try and find these little hands. That would not be a good time. Take a look at Jesse. Oh! <laughs> what did I just say? Oh man, didn't fall in the cracks though. Also, check out my Pizza Planet Crocs. Pretty cool, eh guys? Anyway, <laughs> I don't do these first person reviews often, guys. If you can tell, <laughs> I'm a little sloppy. Here's one of her faces, a little derpy looking face. I don't think we need the instructions. I think we know how to handle an action figure. Or at least I hope we do. Here's actually some more hands I didn't even see behind her. So let's throw those over there and let's take a look at this doll here and apparently from the box she is 5.66 inches she's actually pretty sick guys don't really know where i'm gonna put her she might go on that top shelf in my room or next to my other action figures but we will see don't know what this is is this can you remove her can you take her body off why is it why is this plastic like in her okay weird there we go but here we are this is the rebel tech jesse her belt seems to be movable. Her waist, super movable. Her head can go all the way around, yes. There's her arms. We can go all the way up the bicep, it seems like. Let's try that. Yeah, you can do that. 
hands are removable. I will be showing you guys a bunch of cool poses at the end of the video. To be honest, I don't even think I'm going to try the hands right now. I don't want them to fall in the cracks here. So we're just going to stick with the open hand look right now for the review. I'm really impressed so far. This is super dope. She has the Andy on there. But what I have planned for you guys next year, she does not actually have that on her boot yet. So I will not be filming her. Whoa, boots into that short film. Wow, she's just falling apart. Didn't even know her forearm could come off, but I guess we know now. Let's put that back and uh, let's look at her face here. Super, super cool detail. Her eyes are movable, apparently. I just have to figure out how to take her head off. Dude, there we go. This is literally like a Hot Toys action figure. This is crazy. Wait, does this hair piece come off? Wow. Yeah, guys, you guys got to be careful with this and not film over any cracks and stuff like what I'm doing right now. It's like a Seed Toys head. That's pretty cool, man. I'm digging this Jesse figure. She's just very fragile. Very, very small. I think this was... Oh! Guys, look at this. Oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't be filming right here, guys. Okay, we are definitely 100% not showcasing the hands uh, right now. So, let's put that back. Let's put her face back on. Or actually, let's take a look at some other faces. So, there's her, like, toy mode smiling face. Pretty cool. This one right here is her nervous or scared face. This one was one of the newer heads, I believe, with the 1.5 version. Someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that one. But yeah, I love the eye moves here. If we could get something like this in film accurate scale, see toys, sit toys, someone take notes. Please do this. That would be amazing if we have all these facial expressions. This one is like, ah, wow, I don't even know it. <laughs> Guys, what would you call this facial expression? The romantic Jesse, the in love Jesse, the confident, charming, I got this kind of facial expression for Jesse. And we got one more head here. What do we got? We have the sad Jesse. Oh, this one is going to be awesome for what I have planned for you guys. Yeah, definitely going to be using this head a lot during that short film. So, yeah, we have the sad Jesse. And here is how you guys. You see that bee right there on me? What the? Get away from me. <laughs> Gosh, wow, this, this this video review is just not going well right now. But here is how you actually move her eyeballs. You just stick your fingernails in there and try to move it. It's like wedged up against her face there. Oh man, this is a nightmare. We're going to put that down and we're just going to actually put her normal toy mode face back on. So let's get that on. Lots of little bumps and grooves that you insert her head in. Look at that. Her hairline is completely gone. Where did it go, Jesse? So there we go. Put that back on. Let's throw her hairline back on. And let's actually take a look at what she looks like with her hat on. This is tough. This is tough to put in. Come on. There we go. We have the Disney Pixar logo. Little copyright information there on the top. Gonna try not to film that during my short film. I believe this little groove right here goes right in that little groove where her hairline goes. I don't know if it's supposed to stick on or if it's supposed to just lay on like that. I don't know, but this hairline thing is weird. I don't like that. If I had one gripe with this figure so far, I don't like how that hairline is removable. I wish her face was just one little piece and this was all attached together. But wow, I didn't even notice that her braid here can move too. Her, wow, that's pretty cool. Wow, right here too? Wow, right where her little bow is. Jeez, you guys can get some crazy poses with this Jesse doll. Let's try the hat thing one more time. I don't think it's going to work, though. Yeah, I think you're just supposed to lay it on there. And uh, maybe you can hold it with her hands. If you guys want one for yourself, they are everywhere on the internet. You can get them on eBay, Big Bad Toy Store, probably from the Kyoto website as well. You guys can find her everywhere right now. So this is the 1.5 Jesse. Let's put her up right here. Let's see how well she stands up on her own. I think she's doing pretty well. But let's take a look at the little alien figure that she comes with. And he looks articulated as well. 
Oh, I think you can move his eyes. Yes. Full rotation on his head. Full rotation on his arms, it looks like. Can you extend them out? No, you cannot extend the arms out. Do they come off? Probably, but I'm not even going to risk that. He just looks like a little toy mode alien, and I love that. We are all for toy mode figures here on the Nikolai Tedeschi channel. That looks like a mess in there, so we're not going to mess with that. Cute little alien. It says Disney Pixar on the bottom there. There's this little squeaker right there. Does not squeak. He is full plastic, and so is Jesse here. Jesse also comes with a little lasso pretty interesting this is definitely gonna fall on that floorboard but wow that is a lasso you could really do some awesome poses with this i'm gonna have a lot of fun with this jesse and it does seem like she comes with a gripping hand that's not the one that you can actually grip the rope with probably gonna have to put her in a certain angle because it does kind of fall out a little bit it's not that tight so you might have to double wrap it like this so she's holding a bunch of the rope here instead of just one little single strand of it let's open her stand actually throw that back so here is Jessie with the stand and you can configure it to her waist to however you like. So we got that tight around her body there, around her waist. And uh, I love this figure, guys. Let's actually show you the hands. I should have done this at the beginning of the video. Let's get a close up of all the different hands that she comes with before I start displaying them. So we have two little closed hand thumbs up, one open hand and one little rope grabbing hand that I'm assuming, or a hat grabbing hand. We have a little pointer finger hand, a little thumbs up pointer finger, closed fist. And then we have two more kind of open hand hands here. Well, kind of opened. We'll do a little comparison. Just about the same thing with these hands. Maybe they could have included just some actual closed fists like that. And again, here's just a close up of all the faces that she comes with. We got the when someone loved me face, the joyful face here, the frightened face, and the overexcited Jesse face along with the toy mode face, which gonna be displaying her the most with that one. The rope, which actually bundles up very nicely. I don't have to struggle to put it back into a little circle. It just kind of naturally does that on its own. Watch, let's try to do something like this if we just place it down it just does it see so that's really nice that is an a plus in my book for that here is a close-up on the instructions if you guys were curious on that really don't like that part it's really annoying the alien super cool but don't know what to do with him so again it might be a giveaway and there is how you attach her hat nothing on the back a lot of articulation points that surprised me like the hair here two different articulation points in the hair that is a 10 out of 10 for me on that her pull string you can kind of move didn't even notice that it seems that there's more to this figure than i anticipated so with all that being said that is going to be my review for the rebel tech jesse figure she gets a thumbs up in my book i do give this figure about an eight eight and a half out of ten there are a few things that i wish they would have changed first of all i don't really like the little hairline thing going on i think that's a pain in the butt to configure with i wish they would have had a little more variety with the hands there's one on there that's way too similar to another one i wish they would have just chosen the closed fist instead of a partially closed fist but that might just be a personal gripe with me i don't really think the alien accessory was really appropriate necessary with a jesse figure i think if you included this with the buzz lightyear figure that would have made a lot more sense i wish jesse came with more of like the little critters from the woody's roundup i think that would have made way more sense instead of a little alien but that is another little gripe i have with jesse and the last gripe that i have with the jesse figure is that the hat does not stay on her head at all it doesn't fit on firmly it barely just sits on like that and if you do any crazy poses it's gonna fall off so i guess it makes sense that some of her hands have little rips so you can actually have the hand stay on her head while she grabs it which is pretty cool but again just wish it stayed on there firmly before i start displaying the figure we're just gonna say our outro right now if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe to nikolai tedeschi you guys are not gonna want to miss the 2025 short film that i have planned with this jesse 
sexy figure. Like this video. Share this video to Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever you guys want to. Your dust collector friends out there. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys like the Revel Tech Jesse figure, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you guys own the Jesse figure for yourself. Also, let me know if you guys want me to pick up the Revel Tech Woody. I know for sure they have that. Stinky Pete and Bullseye as well. Not sure about those ones. Buy the Nikolai Tedeschi and Cinema Toy Box merch at collectorstoychest.shop. But let's actually start displaying this awesome Jesse figure. I'll stop yapping and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, peace.